Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. So in this lesson we're going to continue adding some narrative and we're going to put some narrative next to the total risk. So let's go and use one of these as a starting point. And we'll take that down here. And this one's going to be slightly different. I'm just going to show you something slightly different. So this one here, uh, first of all, let's, let's do the colour formatting here or the formatting. So we can change this to Let's just call this uh, analysis summary. And we don't, this background colour, we don't need it to be there. We'll use a grey colour, perhaps this one here. Uh, no, we'll just use that first one there. Slightly lighter one. Uh, yep, just to differentiate between the total. And in here, we're going to get rid of the filters. So we don't need a filter, we're interested in the totals. And I think we're going to just make it slightly different for the story. So this one here, we're just going to tell the total number of reductions over time. So we're just going to put in here, well first of all, let's, uh, yeah, we're going to tell it's been reduced and the percentage. We're going to say what it is at the start and the end. And in here, we're in the story, and we'll just put the total number of defects has been reduced by 32% by hashtag. And then here we'll put over the period. Okay, so just a little bit, so something slightly different there. And then I'm going to go and copy that and we're going to add another one. Now, what I would also like to do here is get rid of this border. I think we need it down here. Oh, that never quite worked. Let's look again. Border off. Yep. And then I'll just copy that because the format is the same. And then we're going to put some more underneath. And then here we'll get rid of the title. And the story will be. Uh, maybe, what can we say here? We can say at the start of the period there were, and then hashtag, we'll say how many work orders were at the start of the period. And let's go in and update that. So, first week, add that in, get rid of these two. Just confuse to confuse things. At the start of the period, there were one six one one six seven. Let's go back to our story. Defects. The high point was, and I think I'm going to add in. A high point here, just to, just just for something slightly different. So we need a new measure that's going to actually represent that high point. Oh, in fact, actually, I think we've done it. We've done it because we looked at it for the previous one, did we? Max value. Okay, so the maximum value. So actually, we can just add that in. And yep, there we go. So the maximum value of the period was, um, we've got one, two, four, one. Okay, so that is just just some slightly different text. You can see here that you don't, it doesn't need to be the same each time. And um, the next thing I want to do is I want to go and actually put some commas in some of these um, thousands. Because I think it, they're not pure, but it just looks much better if it's thousands. So to do that, we need to go and find these. And just make sure we've got this little thousands clicked here. And I'll do it for the current week as well, just to make sure that's done. Okay, so that is the that's us for. Okay, so that's us now for this one here. Um, in the next lesson, we will move on, and I want to actually start adding some targets. So this is all good and um, all all very good. Um, in fact, yeah, we need to update these titles here, but I'll do that. This is all good.
telling us what it has been and what the high points were and what it currently is, but we need some targets. We need to be able to say, so what? Are we above or below where we want it to be at this particular point in time? And we're going to cover that in the next lesson.